Yeah, this is really uh, the time you can take advantage of uh, of helping helping uh, organizations and helping fundraisers, and and uh, you know we're we're put on a stage that uh, you know that can benefit um, people and organizations, and and uh, you want to take advantage of that, and and uh, coming out and just you know helping support. There's so many great organizations out there to help, and and uh, you just try to find time to uh, to help and support as many as you can, and uh, that's what the off season's really about. Uh, it's getting back in shape, getting you know get back into the swing of things, but also you have a little more time. You're not consumed with the season and and, and just the longevity of that, and you get a little more time to to do things like this. And you know this is what it's really all about to to help the community. You've had a couple of months since February. Have you been able to look back on the season and appreciate what you did, even though it came up a little short? Oh no, no, that's uh, that, that that means nothing uh, to you know. We're very disappointed on the way it finished. Uh, you know, it's not how you want to end the season, and you know, it's one of those things that people keep saying. At least you, you know, at least you made it, and you know, I, I'm not I'm not a really believer in that. You, you don't go there to you know finish second. So uh, you know, we didn't do enough to win the game, and and uh, you know, that's what the off season's about to. Correct those mistakes and and uh, get better and uh, get back there and and, and finish better. So, uh, you know, personal goals, personal all that, all those things uh, that you, you do don't mean anything. As, you know, if the team doesn't win, you know, as go as far as, as as you're capable of. I was reading some things that Coach Caldwell was saying here in the off season. He's really excited coming into this next year. Thinking back to 04, that record-setting season. Um, he's really excited about this uh, receiving for are, are you getting that same feeling? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you know, there's reasons he should. I mean, we got a lot of great uh, uh, young guys that uh, that did really well their rookie year and their in their first couple of years, and and there's only room for improvement for them. And, and they're the type of guys that that really are uh, hard workers and and don't really, you know, get into the whole you know ego thing. And and they're and they're just hungry and they're they're young and. And I don't think they really know how good they are, and that's that's the that's the good thing is that they they, they keep trying, and with Peyton as a quarterback, they're they're always going to try to improve and get better for him. So it's got to be one of those things that uh, you know there's nothing but positives from the receiving core and just across the team in general. I mean, we've lost unfortunately uh, a few key players, but that's that's kind of the name of the business. And uh, and but uh, we have a lot of young guys ready to step in and. Should be an exciting uh, off season and heading into training camp. How much will it help to have a healthy Gonzalez back? That helps out a lot. I mean, he's a guy that has uh, has done a great job of being productive, and and when he's out there, he, he's done a lot of great things. And you know, it's just been unfortunate that he's had just a bad run with his knee, but. Uh, uh, he was running today. I mean, he's 100%. He, he looked good, felt good, and, and you know, I think he's definitely really excited about uh, getting back out there and uh, and playing and, and, and getting back out there on the field and making plays. You have a chance to play with perhaps one of the greatest football quarterbacks of all time. What's it like to be Peyton Manning's teammate? Uh, you know, it, it's good. It's just like being anyone else's teammate I mean you know he's just uh, he's just one of the guys and uh, but yeah he's uh, he's very good at what he does he's, a, he's one of the best professionals out there uh, he just he just does everything right he um, the way he approaches the game the way he prepares for a game uh, he's, he's the true professional and you know I think everyone on the team learns from him and, and just kind of uh, can take away a lot of just how he handles himself, how he handles himself in the public eye, on the field, in practice. You know, he's just, uh, you know, what I what I think is a, is a, is a true professional. you got to be ready for anything he throws at you on those audibles, huh? Yeah, yeah, He's uh, he definitely has the ability to uh, change things on the spot. And, you know, coming in my eighth year now, it, it's, uh, it's a little easier now. But uh, it's definitely harder for those younger guys, you know, to keep up. It's, uh, it, it's not a... It's a very unorthodox type of offense that uh, you can't really prepare for. You just the only way you can get better is by you know by repetition and by practicing. And, and just each year that these younger guys have, the better that they'll be. There's some shuffling with the coaches as well. Uh, Ron Turner's on board mm-hmm. now. Uh, how do you guys kind of deal with the, with the changes? Yeah, you know, I, we we haven't obviously been around them yet. Uh, we won't see the coaches until late May, but. Um, 
but you know, I, I think it's something that's uh, very exciting. Uh, I think they, you know, they got some good guys. It sounds like they're, you know, good guys, hard workers, and uh, you know, I, I think they'll fit in well with the staff and the players. And it's just kind of, it's just another thing that happens each year. You know, you get get new players, you get new teammates, new coaches, and it's just one of those things that you just, you know, it's unfortunate, but every year. You know, there's kind of a, a revolving door, and uh, it's just kind of the name of the game. And uh, you make a lot of good friends, and you lose a lot of good friends. But um, you know, everyone, the Colts organization has done a great job of always replacing um, everyone with good, good people, and, and they fit in, and, and they work hard, and and uh, and just kind of keep the boat going. And uh, going out uh, to a function like this, and uh, I know you want to be able to touch every part of the state of Indiana. What does it mean to come to the northeastern reaches, uh, 160 miles away from downtown Indianapolis, to do a function like this? It's good. It's uh, you know as much as you can help is the better. And uh, you know I think it's uh, there's so many great organizations and uh, so many great causes that uh, you know the more you can help and get out there. Uh, it's a positive. It's a positive for the, the organization itself. It's positive for the Colts and, and everyone involved. And, and just the more you can help influence people to come out and, and give their time, give their money, whatever it may be, uh, you know, the better. And, I mean, there's so you know, the game of football is, you know, it's fun. We get to play and all that. But, uh, you know, there's so many more important things in life that, that are a lot more important than the game of football itself. So, uh, you know, you got to put a lot of things in perspective. I think that's what the off season is about, to, to put those things in perspective and to to really use your time to uh, to, to help those, you know, those, those organizations that are in need 